This is Witchbase News for Friday the 1st of April 2022 I'm Commander Burr. In Elite Dangerous News this week there's free paint jobs up for grabs in this weeks mining CG, there's a possible change in Thargoid behaviour and we've a summary of yesterdays Frontier livestream. To make sure you don't miss any of our videos hit like and subscribe and remember to click the little bell icon and select all notifications and if you'd like to help directly support this channel you can also join our Patreon via the link in the video description. As was widely anticipated a new community goal sprang up with this weeks Thargs Day tick that sees the salvation aligned Taurus mining ventures requesting deliveries of ore mined from within a Guardian system. As we reported recently an article on Galnet News in game is reporting that Salvation's favourite mineral extraction specialists are investigating the matter altering properties of peculiar radiation sources within systems that are host to the ruins of structures created by the presumed long dead guardians. This weeks community goal is requesting commanders make deliveries of certain minerals gathered from within one specific system and in return as well as the usual cash incentives Taurus is also offering up 3 free paint jobs for the top 75% of contributors depending on what tier the CG reaches by end of next week. One for the diminutive type 6, one for the type 9 heavy and one for the python. Suffice to say the mining community at the very least has leapt with enthusiasm towards the goal with our own burr pit mining company already producing a mapped mining run that can be followed by practitioners of this particular dark art for maximum efficiency. It certainly seems at the moment like the story in the game might be turning its eye toward the guardians and their as yet largely unexplored arc within the elite dangerous universe. If that's the case then this community goal could, in the longer term at least, be more significant than it may at first appear. And just one final update as we were going to press we heard tell of a secret community goal that is running right now until April the 7th next week. Some commanders have received an inbox message from Salvation asking for Guardian relics to be delivered to the mega ship Musashi in HIP 39768 for what is being referred to as an quote extremely generous payout unquote. This is genuine, it's not an April Fools joke. My thanks Thanks to Commander Orpheus for the heads up on this one. The recent flurry of Thargoid attacks that began edging closer to the bubble appear, at least for now, to have stalled somewhat with no new infestations and no new burning stations appearing that need unburning. Quite what has caused the betentacled worry weeds to pause their encroachments this time around is a matter for speculation but the YouTube channel Galnet News Digest run by commanders Beetlejude and Wotherspoon has followed up on an interesting wrinkle that had been the subject of some discussion here at the pit. The recent Thargoid system infestations did not result in station attacks but they did appear instead to result in some mega ships being attacked. That fact led to speculation here that the goopy carnations of chaos might instead be hunting for the megaships that Salvation had been using as part of their mysterious weed killing Death Star operations. An article from Galnet News Digest that you'll find linked in the video description goes further along this thread and has investigated the phenomena with one megaship in particular turning up some interesting results. They are reporting that Gordon class bulk cargo ship HDI 31 in the Norni system contains logs that seem to indicate that they were carrying a salvaged artifact in their hold that was pointing them somewhere and that as a result they were hyperdicted by the Thargoids who took exception to it. This does all point to patterns of behaviour that we've seen before from the Pleiades party poopers as does the mysterious artifact that appears to be pointing at something. Indeed this is how contact with the Thargoids was first established by commanders in the Elite Dangerous era. If you're curious to check out the mega ship mentioned here you'll find links to the Galnet News Digest video and all the system details in the video description below. 
I am of course acutely aware that all this might appear to be chasing shadows. As was often the case in the early days of Elite Dangerous there were apparently no results to be gleaned from investigations into things just left laying around in the game by Frontier. That was of course the case until suddenly there were results and things started happening. To that all I would say is that we are still very much at the start of a new expansion and Frontier have confirmed that there is new stuff entering the game some of which they will overtly tell us about some of which they won't. If anything is going to surface in the game the next few months are in my opinion the most likely time for that to happen and we'll never find this stuff unless we look for it. A very wise man once said ...watch out for the shadows they move when you're not looking at them. Frontiers Frameshift Live series of regular Thursday livestreams continued yesterday afternoon and at its height the chance for some new information and also the now regular Twitch drop campaigns brought in over 4000 viewers. If you're unfamiliar with Twitch drops the system sees free in-game items unlocked for commanders that link their Elite Dangerous accounts to their Twitch accounts and then rack up the requisite amount of time watched tuned into the official Elite Dangerous livestreams. There are two tiers of drop available running throughout the year, one constantly running campaign and one more exclusive seasonal campaign. The constant campaign will unlock various purple themed paint jobs, engine and weapon detailing as well as commander tattoo packs, flight suits and ship nameplates. The seasonal drops are season themed ship skins and last nights saw the last opportunity to earn the spring paint jobs however a new seasonal campaign should start next week with the first livestream of April. If you've not started collecting your in-game freebies then I've linked in the video description to Frontiers website where you can get everything hooked up ready for the next livestream. Whilst hosting the stream Zach and Bruce also took the opportunity to highlight again the community calendar recently launched by the company that is now starting to fill up with community generated events. If you're searching for a new challenge in the game then that is definitely a good place to look with two big expeditions leaving in the next few days, a PvP competition and a new buckyball event being just some of the events listed for the coming month ahead. The regular livestream format also features commander creations and the regular weekly stellar screenshots the community produces as well as a development section from Frontier. The dev section this week again featured no details of upcoming content additions or patches. The team however did again reiterate that the issue of account transfers from console editions to the PC platform was still being investigated by the dev team following the recent announcement of no future development for the game on consoles. The CMs again reiterating that as soon as they have any more details to share they'll announce it. With no official news of any upcoming patches or content drops into the game since the console cancellation was announced there's understandably still a degree of nervousness rumbling through the community right now and that isn't likely to go away until something appears or is announced. Update 11 was a really strong appearance for Odyssey from the dev team and whilst they're definitely not yet at the end of the journey for the Odyssey launch last year Overall graphics, performance and stability are very much improved. It would be nice however to hear something from Frontier soon about their plans for the road ahead. Are you mining for this weeks community goal? Are you planning on visiting a derelict hype addicted megaship or heading out on an expedition? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then ….o7 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.